So one of the games for power event is a zombie rush. Now, it's a pretty simple event or mission to do. Basically, you have to go around the map and find these batteries. And once you pick up the battery, to go back to your generator, where which is where you spawn. Now, here is a, is a couple things I don't know about the game. I well, I'm in level 162, but that doesn't mean much. It's just about the event, so I don't know how the exact way or what do you call it, the, the right way to do this event. Now the right, like, pick up the battery and go back to your generator, right? That's all I know. I don't know if, uh, if it saves between waves, like if, no wait, saves between uh, maps. So if we lose this round or lose this wave, do I have to, do I have to pick up 15 batteries again in that one, uh, I guess, session, I guess, a uh, one round? Or does it save between rounds? I don't know. So I did it all in one round. Uh, and then I don't know, like, um, what do you call it? How they spawn either. Or if they, do you want to pick up one? Because usually you would go around, look around the map, and you find these batteries that are now. They're pretty easy to find. You just data is glow, basically. And when you pick it up, it makes a little sound effect. And then once you pick it up, uh, you go back to the generator, which is back at spawn over there, and once you do it, you have a little notification on the right that pops up, and it says how much you have and how much you need. So right now I put it in, and it's 2 out of 15, that's all. Now they seem like they, sp so I'm assuming you can pick up one battery at a time, just because I put that battery, I put the battery in that generator, and the other one spawned right in front of me. Now, I was walking towards the generator, and I didn't see that when I was walking towards it. So... It seems like you can only pick up one at a time. Now, it's kind of tedious, uh, I guess, when you start the game, because you'll start with a pistol, I think. But when you do level up in the game, if you click on the little, those, uh, what do you call it, bars on the left side, bottom left side, that opens up the menu, and that's where you can switch guns. Now, when you do level up, you unlock more guns, and... But every time a new wave, uh, a new wave uh, starts, it whatever gun you've selected will be equipped. So if you just start the game and you're playing this and you got cut and you level up a couple times in like one wave or two waves, you unlock a new gun. I would switch your gun. I think a pistol, a pistol is not that great. Um, it's a starter pistol, so I would assume that you want to pick some other weapon. Also, would recommend not to use your melee weapon. The things do hurt after a while so i wouldn't i wouldn't die i don't know what i think i don't know what happens if we if everyone fails to fails the wave or whatever the round i'm not sure if it saves your progress it probably does save your progress i'm assuming it shouldn't be that hard but i'm gonna find 15 batteries and basically i don't know if it's map specific i'm pretty sure it's you could pick any map i'm not entirely sure there's probably some better maps for this and maybe a bigger open open map area that you can see a little bit more of the map but basically a couple tips i could do this game is pretty simple it's a zombie wave survival and you just gotta well kill a bunch of zombies and on the bottom right you can see kills to advance and everybody has to reach that amount to get to the next wave and the more waves we get through the more harder and uh, uh more uh, difficult it gets for the enemies that come at you but you get more experience from whenever you kill a higher tier zombie or enemy and so basically what you want to do is always keep walking you don't want to stand still in this game you always want to keep walking you're faster than the zombies but it does become a problem when they start piling up when they start piling up they start stacking on each other, each other and they start to they start to like fling towards you and they they do start to catch up, so you want to. If you do get a, if you do get a horde behind you, then you want to start clearing them out. But you always also you want to play in third person. First person, it's like almost impossible to play this game. Um, and also, if you play when you play third person, you always want to look behind you, not in front of you, because then they're not, they're not going to be in front of you unless you walk in towards them. Um, but usually, they when you're walking. Uh, when you're looking from behind and you, some a zombie comes in front of you, just usually they can just start, you walk past them. Because with Roblox AI or any 
if they depending on how they script their uh, tracking system usually uh, AI or zombies usually they follow your position but in a uh, but it's, it's delayed by like a second or not even a second but like maybe half a second so like they will follow your if you go left they will go left but if you switch between that they will still go left for half a second but then they follow you right after the half second so if they're attacking you from the front they will follow you from the position where they saw you half a second earlier and they will start following you after because well they, that's how they track you basically so you just keep walking in one direction and they'll start following you it doesn't really matter if they hit you one time you still heal over time but you don't take that much it's not like it does a ton of damage but always got to be sure to keep walking and when you level up enough times check what guns you can unlock and you'll surely slowly you will uh, get better guns but batteries they seem to spawn randomly I don't really know any like way what any like actual like positions of where they spawn. It's pretty much watching me right now, looking for the batteries slowly. I like like I, said, I don't know anywhere or any of the batteries are to be honest. So like I was like, oh, where is this one? It's like oh, it's up here. So like it's got to double check spots that you've been before. I don't think. I don't think I got I got a battery that spawned in the same spot I got it in. Like I don't know if it's completely random. It probably is completely random, so probably wrong on that. I don't know. Like I said, I didn't die this round. I didn't. Uh, we didn't lose this wave, or I mean, lose this round. So I don't know if it saves or not. You know, figure out that on yourself. But if you got a full server, it should be fine. You have decent levels and decent guns. Um, I think I had a guy level 700. I don't know. I can't see from here, but I've got to find some batteries here. And we're almost done. It's pretty simple. Uh, the price for this is well, the power eyes. It's pretty easy to do. I think this is one of the easier ones to do. Um, it's kind of hard to say just because well, for this game, Zombie Rush, Zombie Rush, I already had some progress done in it, so I had that advantage of going in. Um, it's a pretty old game though, so I've, I expect most people have some progress in this game. Um, other than that, like Sword Burst, I have some progress, but it doesn't really matter. It only mattered because uh, they I had more health and I did, so they did less damage to me. Um, damage doesn't matter. And then Pirate Simulator was pretty generous with their event. Go do the tutorial and then you could just start, start it without any progress. So that helped out a lot. This one, you don't really need progress in it. You just, you know, if you understand the mechanics of the game, you can survive pretty long. Um, make sure you're playing with your team. You know, everybody, it's not like, it's not a competition in this game. You want to survive as a group of people so you can get to the fr waves faster. But you don't really need to get to the waves faster in this game mode. You just got to or this event, you just gotta find the batteries first, and hopefully uh, don't mess up, I guess. Um, but like I said, just keep walking, and surely you will not die, hopefully. But yeah, here we're gonna find our last battery, and I don't really remember where it was, but it was somewhere. Um, there it is, right here. Did you get experience? No, I don't know. We level up like about 10 levels for this session, it's pretty great. But we're almost here to our generator and boop. And we got the power eyes just like that, there's no gooey, it's just get the badge and well, that's it. It's like oh, oh, that's the event right there, I guess. Charging up. So yeah, that's, that's it. So yeah, they, they spawn whenever you put it in the generator. So like we're on wave 14 right now and you think that, oh, one spawns per wave. Well, there's 15, I'm on wave 14. So do the math right there if you can. And here I'm showcasing uh, doing using a sword. But that, that's pretty much the event for Power Eyes. Gather the batteries, 15 batteries around the map and put it in the generator every time you pick one up. You wanna pick up one? So good luck with that. And here we're slicing them. That's uh, Zombie Rush.